Hi, I'm Vanessa. I'm the Cook and Light Test Kitchen Director. We get lots of questions here about baked goods, and today I have a question uh, from Jessie. Um, her question is, what modifications do I need to make in my baked goods if I swap honey for sugar? Well, let me just tell you, Jessie, you're going down a slippery slope with this one because you are trying to substitute a liquid for a solid. And really, baked goods are nothing but a chemistry project. If you back, remember back to chemistry in high school, you know, you had to do it a certain way or it wouldn't turn out right. And that's pretty much how it is with baked goods. Um, you know, the sugar is going to go in as a solid and your honey would be a liquid. So it, you're gonna have a very different result. Um, the best thing that I could recommend for you would be to experiment, um, maybe, start with just halving the amount of sugar and adding some honey and see how much it changes the texture of your bread or your cake, um, whatever you're using it for. But I will tell you that we love honey around here. We love the flavor of honey and we have had a lot of honey recipes over the years. Um, I think we've even done a story on um, local honeys, um, which we all have and are able to enjoy, especially in the summertime. So go to cookinglight.com and look up honey and see what you can find. Please leave us a comment about things that have worked for you in your baked goods. If you'd like to substitute honey for sugar or perhaps uh, some fruit purees for some of the sugar and you've had great success with that, we would love to hear from you.